This is a type of magical liquid foam that works wonders. When poured into the hole of a wooden post, it quickly expands and rises even overflowing at times. Once it dries, a tap on it reveals just how solid it is, holding the post firmly in place. If you find the excess foam unsightly, you can saw it off and cover it with a layer of soil for a cleaner finish. When used beneath stone slabs, this foam fills gaps and lifts the foundation, stabilizing it. Its most common application is in home repair work. Skilled workers spray this white liquid, creating a thick, uneven layer of foam in no time. Some clever workers use a wooden board as a guide, creating a smooth surface for the foam. However, by the end of the job, their shoes often look like they've been dipped in marshmallow fluff. So what exactly is this magical material? In the 1930s, German chemist Dr. Otto Bayer synthesized a new type of plastic from petroleum polyurethane. Initially in 1941, Dr. Bayer aimed to create a durable, nylon-like material. Unexpectedly, the product turned out full of bubbles. Though considered a failed experiment, the structure resembled natural sponges, marking the beginning of the artificial sponge era. Polyurethane is now everywhere from dishwashing sponges to cushion fillings in sofas and car seats. These are made from soft polyurethane with open cell foam. On the other hand, the rigid foam we mentioned earlier features closed cell structures, making it ideal for thermal insulation in walls and refrigeration units. It also has a fascinating use, shock absorption. Initially soft, polyurethane molds to an object's shape, then expands and hardens, offering reliable protection. But why does polyurethane foam up? For instance, with wooden posts, you must mix polyol and isocyanate before pouring. When combined, they react and release heat. Adding a foaming agent generates gas, much like bread dough rising during fermentation. However, isocyanate can irritate the eyes, skin, and respiratory system, so proper safety precautions are crucial during application. It's a clever solution with endless applications, but definitely not one to use carelessly.